Hey guys, so just a quick Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl video for you today. Last video I talked about how now that the game is available to the public, data miners have been able to take a look at the game's files and they've been finding some really interesting stuff. Garfield and Shredder are probably the last two fighters that didn't quite make the base roster. And a huge list of character names have been found in the audio files characters that aren't even in the game in any form. And these audio files are of those characters being announced by the announcer voice for the game. While the list of names is really cool to hear, don't count too much on it being a way to figure out future DLC fighters. We can read into the list a little bit to give us some guidance on what the DLC might look like, but it certainly won't leak a character. Go check out my last video if you want to hear an explanation of why that is, and if you want to hear the names being announced. Also, last time I mentioned that huge list of characters in the audio files, I said I wasn't sure who Jet might be referring to, and I assumed maybe it was Jet Fusion from Jimmy Neutron. But a lot of people in the comments were quick to remind me of the character Jet from Avatar. And yeah, I'd say the audio is likely referring to him. I had stayed up all night waiting for the Smash reveal, so forgive me for forgetting about Jet. Anyway, some more interesting stuff has been discovered by data miners, so I thought I'd give everybody an update. Last time I mentioned the Garfield stage was in the game's code, but all we had was a very simple picture of it. Well, a YouTuber called Marinara seems to have modded back in the Garfield stage, and it looks to actually be totally completed. It's like a totally finished stage. This looks way better than the earlier image that we saw. It's basically a bunch of food in like a dream world for Garfield, and you fight on a dish of lasagna. Garfield's teddy bear Pookie is in the background too. The stage seems to have a static Pokemon Stadium style layout, so this is likely the last of the stages we were told were purposefully modeled after tournament legal stages from Smash Bros. I'm not going to just take Marinara's footage of this stage and reshow it here in this video, so check out the description of this video for a link to their video if you want to see the stage in action. Also, Marinara apparently has gotten another unreleased stage from the game's files working. This stage is based on the Nickelodeon game show Double Dare. I don't know if this stage would have gone with any specific character like all the other stages seem to, but this is some live action Nickelodeon content that might have been cut. Maybe this was supposed to be like a bonus stage or something, with no particular fighter attached to it. The stage doesn't look as polished and finished as the Garfield stage, but there's tons of slime here, and it's pretty cool to see Double Dare get referenced in this game, or at least referenced in the game's data. And then finally, last time I talked about how a few textures for alternate costumes seem to have been discovered in the code for a few of the fighters, namely Helga, Reptar, and Sandy. As of right now, if you select the same character as your opponent, both fighters look exactly the same, which can get very confusing quickly. So it's a shame these alt costumes didn't make it into the game, or at least not into base game. Hopefully as the DLC rolls out and the game gets updates, they can add alternate costumes for the characters, as that would help immensely with mirror matches. Well, now what appears to be assets for even more alternate costumes for characters have been discovered for some of the other fighters. The other potential alternate costumes are a number one soda drink hat for Spongebob, Cowboy Patrick, Basketball Sandy, Comic Mikey, Lucy with sunglasses, Powdered Toast Man alt based on his first appearance, Human Zim, Helga alt based on Gerald, and Purple Reptar. So very cool to see. I hope this isn't a scrapped concept, but rather something that will be added later so every fighter in the game can get a unique alternate costume and so mirror matches aren't so confusing. All right, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Short and sweet, I imagine data miners might continue to find some interesting stuff, so keep an eye on this game and let's see where it's headed. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, leave them below. Remember to like the video, leave a comment in the section below, and subscribe to Papa Gino's a Twitter a Patreon Oh, Discord.